So here's an old circuit board I dug out of my junk drawer this afternoon, and uh, if I zoom into the corner here, I can see a couple components marked L1125, and uh, right below the components, you can see the designer of the circuit board cut the board away, and they provided an air gap, and uh, that's a good hint to me that these are probably opto-isolators or optical relays of some sort. Uh, the cutting away the circuit board is a great way of uh, achieving a lot of isolation. Uh, rather than just having raw circuit board material with uh, no copper on it, uh, by cutting the board away, even if you have contaminants on the circuit board, uh, the air gap there will provide a relatively decent uh, isolation. And so here's a data sheet. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an exact match for this component, but uh, it's certainly very typical of uh, this concept of uh, opto-isolation. On one side of the package, there's going to be an LED, which of course uh, creates light, and then the other side of the package will be a uh, transistor. Uh, transistors are very sensitive to to light if you actually don't encapsulate them something black. So, um, and that's how they achieve a good uh, electrical isolation. The fascinating thing, of course, if you come back to the component, uh, obviously that's just uh, black injection molded epoxy that's sitting on that component, uh, which isn't such a great uh, conductor of light. Let's um, let's lap off the top of the package here, uh, just in case to hear in resin, and I'll uh, rub down with uh, some sandpaper to uh, expose the top. And maybe we can sort down what's going on. So here's a view looking straight down at the components of the top of the part. And you can see now we can see two different colors of epoxy. Uh, we can see the black epoxy. And then in the center there, of course, uh, the clear epoxy. They're probably the same material, actually. Black epoxy is just epoxy with something called carbon black uh, put into it. Now, obviously, the epoxy in the center there being a lighter color, it's not obviously optically clear, but uh, I suspect it does uh, conduct light. Let's just keep on lapping down the top of the package here until we get to the lead frame. And uh, what this here is, of course, is the, the leads that go to the body. Uh, they continue inside the package because they need to provide little plateaus for the actual semiconductors to be uh, bonded to. Uh, on each platter there, they'll put down the semiconductor and they bond over to the other wire. Let's take the other one here and uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll basically uh, shave off the side of the package here. And the same thing, you can see that the... Uh, clear epoxies in the middle and the black epoxies on the side. Uh, now the question of course is uh, if I was to put a power supply onto this uh, component, uh, what would happen? Okay, for the part where I've just uh, carved off the side here, I've obviously connected to some electricity uh, out to my lab power supply. And if I turn it on and off, nothing very exciting happens. Let's uh, go to an infrared camera. I'm pretty sure this is not a visible light LED, but uh, an infrared LED. So here's a rather ghostly image. It's coming from a camera which is responding to both visible light and to a near-infrared. And uh, if I just go back and cycle my power supply again, we can see indeed there's a light coming from the assembly. Uh, this makes sense. I suspect that slightly opaque uh, epoxy is actually passes uh, infrared uh, fairly easily uh, compared to um, visible light. And here, if I just turn the lights off in my room entirely, I can prove to myself that indeed it's uh, near-infrared. So, makes sense. So just coming back to the part where I was uh, lapping it on the top and bottom, here of course uh, is the uh, top of the package. You can see I've marked the diode position because uh, the diode is still functional on this part and uh, you can uh, get light from it. Uh, and if I flip it over, I started lapping the other side to find if I could see the uh, actual transistor. And uh, same construction, there's a metal pad. Um, the, the actual uh, transistor uh, is, I think, still uh, in there. So there you go. There's the mystery of the optocoupler. Uh, basically, they use uh, optically clear material on the inside, then they encapsulate it uh, in black epoxy.